Mourning for Imam Hussein. Perspectives from Sunni and Shia Islam. While the specific act of mourning for Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, is more prominently emphasized by Shia Muslims, there are also references in Sunni sources that highlight the tragedy of Karbala and the virtues of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Sunni scholars and hadith collections acknowledge the importance of Imam Hussein and the sorrows associated with his martyrdom. Here are a few relevant references from Sunni and Shia sources. Sunni sources Hadith from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about the love for Imam Hussein. Hussein is from me, and I am from Hussein. Allah loves whoever loves Hussein. Jama al Tirmidhi, Hadith 3775. This hadith is found in Jami al Tirmidhi, a well known Sunni collection of hadiths. It emphasizes the deep bond between the Prophet Muhammad and his grandson Hussein and highlights the virtue of loving Imam Hussein. Hadith number two Hadith about the Prophet's grief for Imam Hussein. Um Selma, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, reported The Prophet lay down one day and woke up later with his eyes filled with tears. I asked him what had made him cry. He said, Jibra'il came to me and told me that my Ummah will kill my son Hussein. He gave me some of the soil of Karbala and said, When this soil turns to blood, know that my son has been killed. Musnad Ahmed ibn Hanbal, Hadith 6974 This hadith, found in Musnad of Ahmed ibn Hanbal, shows the foretelling of Imam Hussein's martyrdom and the Prophet's sorrow over it. Hadith number 3 Hadith about the martyrdom of Imam Hussein Enes ibn Malik reported The angel of rain was given permission by Allah to visit the messenger, peace be upon him. The angel came to him while Umm Salama was with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to Umm Salama, Guard the door and do not let anyone come in. Meanwhile, Hussein came bursting in and the Prophet began to hug and kiss him. The angel said to the Prophet, Do you love him? He said, Yes. The angel said, Your Ummah will kill him. If you wish, I can show you the place where he will be martyred. He showed him the place and brought back red soil for him. Sunan al Tirmidhi, Hadith 3778. This hadith, also from Sunan al Tirmidhi, underscores the significance of Imam Hussein's martyrdom and the Prophet's grief over the future events. Shia sources. There are several sayings from the Ahlul Bayt the family of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that emphasized the importance of reward of mourning for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. These sayings highlight the spiritual and emotional significance of remembering and mourning the tragedy of Karbala. Here are a few notable ones. Hadith from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad is reported to have said, Surely there exists in the hearts of the believers with respect to the martyrdom of Hussein, a heat that never subsides. Mustadrik al Wasa'in, volume 10, page 318. Hadith number 2. Hadith from Imam Ja'far al Sadiq alayhi salam. Imam Ja'far al Sadiq, peace be upon him, has said, he who remembers us, or if we are mentioned in his presence, and a tear comes to his eyes, even though it is the size of a wing of a gnat, Allah will build for him a house in paradise and make his tears a barrier between him and the hellfire. Al Amali, Shaykh Sudduq, page 197, Hadith number 3. Hadith from Imam Ali al Rida, alayhi salam. Imam Ali al Rida, peace be upon him, said, the one for whom the day of Ashura is a day of tragedy, grief and weeping, Allah the Glorified will make the day of judgment a day of joy and happiness for him. Bihar al-Anwar, volume 44, page 284. Hadith number 4. Hadith from Imam Muhammad al-Baqir alayhi salam. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, peace be upon him, said, Whenever a believer's eyes shed tears due to the killing of Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam, such that they flow on his cheeks, Allah will provide for him rooms in paradise to reside in for a long time. Bihar al-Anwar, 
volume 44, page 293. Hadith number 5. Hadith from Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam. Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, said, There is no one who recites poetry about Hussein and weeps and makes others weep by means of it, except that Allah makes paradise obligatory for him and forgives his sins. Wasail al-Shia, volume 10, page 469. These hadiths reflect the profound spiritual significance of mourning for Imam Hussein and demonstrates the immense rewards promised to those who sincerely commemorate his sacrifice. The act of mourning is seen not just as historical remembrance, but as a means to connect spiritually with the values of justice, sacrifice, and steadfastness exemplified by Imam Hussein alayhi salam. To learn more about Imam Hussein alayhi salam, please visit our website findtruth.co.uk.